So, let us go back to the coefficient matrix and understand something, some notations. Fine. So, we have got what is the coefficient matrix, what is the augmented matrix. Now, some remarks that you have to be careful about, which will be used again and again. Remark. So, whenever I have the augmented matrix here with me, so the important thing is that this is matrix of size m cross n plus 1, all right. Ith row, all right, this is the notation for ith row. So, whether I write like this, all right, but here it turns out that it is a and b both together. So, let me write a and b together, so that there is no confusion here a b. This corresponds to ith equation, all right. Fine. Now, let us look at the columns, what the columns represent. So, the i th column of this or j th column of this j is nothing but j th column of a if 1 is less than equal to j less than equal to n all right and is equal to b if j is n plus 1 fine. So, this is what you have to be careful about, you have to understand that the first part corresponds to variables and the second part corresponds to the right hand side the b. One thing also is important that if you look at this part, then the jth column corresponds to jth unknown x sub j all right this is very important for us all right so the first column corresponds to x1 second column to x2 third column to x3 and so on is that okay so you have to keep track of this again and again it will be used throughout this chapter all right some definition so what we are looking at we are looking at we are considering so we are considering the linear system linear system A x is equal to B. As said earlier, A is the size m cross n, x is of size n cross 1, B is of size m cross 1. At this stage, I am repeating it again and again, but after some time, the repetition will stop completely and you just have to look at things, fine. We will have to assume lot of things. So, this system, so definition, this system is said to have a solution x naught if a of x naught is equal to b that is that is if we compute if we compute the matrix product A x naught, then this vector is a vector of size m cross 1 and it indeed equals b is that okay so actually it corresponds to that part all right for example if i have the system say a equal to 1 1 1 1 all right or i take anything 2 i taken so 2 and if i take x as 1 comma 1 i do get here so 1 plus 1 is 2 and 1 plus 2 is 3 fine therefore the system a x is equal to 2 3 2 3 with a is equal to 1 1 1 2 has a solution x is equal to 1 1. Is that okay? Fine. This is one thing. 
Another thing you can see here is that if I take so the system A x is equal to 0 0 has has I will not write no solution because has a solution, but let me just explain it has has only has only the solution zero zero. All right. Important thing is it has only the solution zero zero. If I want to so so what I'm trying to say is that it has it has no non trivial we use this word non trivial solution or we are saying that there is no x not x not not equal to 0 such that a of x not is 0 is that okay the important thing is what we are saying is no, non trivial means that it cannot be 0 vector, it is a non 0 vector that you are looking at. Is that okay? Fine. Another definition. So, the system A x is equal to B is said to be consistent, consistent if it has a solution, it has a solution. We are not saying that it has a unique solution, we are just saying that it has a solution fine. It can have infinite number of solutions, but the case no solution does not appear. Consistent means there is a solution. Fine. So, now let us look at some theorems associated with these ideas. Theorem, all right. So, suppose the system A x is equal to B has two distinct or different solutions solutions say u and v all right suppose i know that the system has more than one solution it has two distinct solutions say u and v what can i say about overall ideas here all right so let's look at ideas here so one so, since u and v are solutions all right. So, therefore, a of u is b and a of v is also b fine. So, this will imply that a times u minus v is nothing but a u minus a v which is b minus b which is 0 all right. So, this will imply that we have a solution solution to the system A x is equal to 0 and the solution x is u minus v. Is that okay? Fine. So, given the system A x is equal to b, the system A x is equal to 0 is called a corresponding homogeneous system. The system so, definition the system A x is equal to 0 is called the homogeneous system corresponding to the system A x is equal to b. So, what we have seen here is that 
whenever A x is equal to B has more than one solution, then we have at least one solution of the corresponding homogeneous system A x is equal to B. All right. Not only that, let us look at two part. Since it has a solution this, all right. So, what I know is that for for u naught, which is equal to u minus v, we have a of u naught is 0. All right. So, this also implies that if I look at a times c of u naught, where c is any real number, c is a scalar, fine. Then this is nothing but c times a of u naught by matrix scalar multiplication, and which is same times c times 0, which is 0. All right. So, whenever you have one solution here, which is non zero, all right, then you have infinite number of solutions. So, if you have a non zero solution of homogeneous system system you have infinite number of solutions. Fine, this is important. Three, so once you have that, so let me write, so we have already written it as x naught. Let us go back to a x equal to b. So, let us go back to A x is equal to B. I want to look at u, which was already a solution. So, I would know that A u was B. I want to look at A times u plus C u naught. All right. Sorry, it is not A u and it is just u. So, this is same as A u plus C times A u naught. A u is B and this was already 0 for us. So, this is b. So, whenever, so whenever we have a non trivial or non zero solution of the homogeneous system and at least one solution of A x is equal to B, then we have infinite number of solutions for a x is equal to b. All right. This is important that you need to understand that given one solution of a x is equal to b and one non zero solution of the homogeneous part, one non zero solution of the homogeneous part gives me infinite number of solutions. Fine. So, this is what you have to be careful, but here you are making u with respect to u naught. All right. You are adding, so you are looking at a solution x as what is called a particular solution, particular solution, all right. And with that, I am adding c times what is called solution of the homogeneous part, homogeneous part. Is that okay? In general, 
you can rewrite this part third can be rewritten as all right so i know that a of u is b a of v is also b so i can look at a of alpha u plus 1 minus alpha v then what do i get here so let's just try to have a look at it it is alpha times a u plus 1 minus alpha times a v which is same as alpha b plus 1 minus alpha times b which is b all right so therefore what you see is that if u and v are solutions then just look at the points corresponding to u and v join them all right because alpha i am not saying it's language in 0 and 1 alpha could be any real number all right you get a solution again so this idea and these idea the two ideas are same here i have written in terms of third part i have written in terms of the homogeneous part here i am not writing it i would like you to see and get the homogeneous part and the non homogeneous part yourself is that okay fine so let's add the two together and finally say that first part that let x1 x2 xk be k distinct solution of ax is equal to 0 it's a homogeneous part that's important homogeneous part all right now since it is of the homogeneous part these are the solution of the homogeneous part. So, you can see that you can just look at i is equal to 1 to k c i x i this is also a solution of a x is equal to 0 for all values of c i c i. So, when I say all values of c i whatever c i you want to choose all right you have a solution there fine. So, I would like to end this class here itself at the next class we will look at what we had done earlier that is the coefficient matrix and so on. So, this part will come back to the augmented matrix and we will try to understand this part using what are called invertible matrices. So, again recollect here I just want to finish it with the idea that given a system of equation we got a corresponding augmented matrix fine and the co co augmented matrix looks similar. My question is that can I get augmented matrix using matrix multiplication all right and if I am doing it what exactly am I doing it fine I need to understand that because if I want to look at things here I can still look at this part and say that my third equation is 3 upon 2 a, 2 z is equal to 3 upon 2. So, I can write this as 3 upon 2 z is equal to 3 upon 2 and get here z is equal to 1. So, using these notations also of augmented matrix I can get back the solution fine. So, my question is can I get this augmented matrix or can I do something to the augmented matrix. So, that uh, starting with the first equation I get the last equation all right thank you. Mm -hmm.